Hello everybody. Today I just wanted to do a short talk with you about some of our beekeeping practices and techniques or maybe lack thereof some of our techniques and a couple of the people who we've used for inspiration on how to keep our bees. And one of the first things I wanted to talk to you about is why we use foundationless frames. And a foundationless frame is a frame like this. This is what beekeepers use to hold the comb in their hives. This makes it easy for us to remove the combs from our hive and check on the progress of our hives. And um, so this is a foundationless frame. They have what's called a wedge top on the top and this is just kind of like a little raised area right here on the top part of the frame and that helps the bees to kind of guide them on where to start drawing their comb on each individual frame. So this is a foundationless frame. This is what we use in our hives um, to, for the bees to draw their comb on. And there's several different types of frames that you can have when you're getting into beekeeping. Another one is this plastic foundation. And so this is a piece of black plastic here that's been inserted into the frame and the bees use this as a guide to draw their comb and the cells out for their combs. And I just wanted to show you here also is one of our foundationless frames that the bees have drawn their comb out already. And they're allowed to draw whatever they need for their hive. They're allowed to draw whatever size cell they want. So some of the reasons that we use the foundationless frame is um, one, I'm just totally a natural girl. I like nature to take care of itself and do things the way it wants to without me interfering too much. So putting plastic in my hives, number one, is just kind of like, kind of nasty to me. I don't really think that plastic belongs inside a beehive. Another reason that we like to do foundationless and let the bees draw their own comb is that seems to be when they draw their own comb, they'll draw the cell size slightly smaller than they would if they were drawing it on pre-purchased foundation. And that's a really good thing for a couple reasons. Um, a smaller cell size makes a smaller bee, which then in turn will you'll get more bees per frame in the brood nest. And um, a couple of people that we've read and used them as uh, inspiration are D. Lesby from Tucson, Arizona and Michael Bush from uh, Nebraska and they're two of the leading beekeepers for small cell foundation or natural comb drawing for their bees and they've done lots of research on it and, and found that these bees are more resistant to mites and disease when they are grown in smaller cells and you get more bees per frame of brood. And so that's one of the things we're trying to do is have a totally natural hive that, that we don't have to mess with too much. And so one of the benefits of doing no foundation is that we get smaller bees and they seem to be more resistant to mites and other diseases by having smaller cell size. Another reason that we like to use foundationless frames is we don't have to purchase foundation, whether it's plastic or the wax. Uh, we don't have to store any of those foundations. Um, so it's a storage issue as well. And uh, with wax, pre-made wax foundation that you can buy, uh, a lot of times those are contaminated by all of the chemicals that the commercial beekeepers have used to to make that wax and so it has uh, the pesticides that they've used and other chemicals that they've used to treat the hives that has been found to be in the wax and so I just want to keep our hives free of any of those kinds of chemicals um, in our frames. Some other techniques that we've kind of picked up from them is to not feed our bees any kind of um, sugar syrups or things like that, what we do is we just try to not harvest too much honey from them. Um, when it gets to be August, we kind of quit 
taking any honey from them at all so that they have enough of a storage of their honey for the winter and into the early spring and that makes it so that we don't have to feed our bees. Uh, sugar syrup is a higher pH. It's around 6, 6 6.0 pH where honey is around 3.2 to about 4% or 4 point on the pH scale. And um, we have fed our bees sugar syrups before. Uh, we've done it a little bit in the past when we were first learning and first taking up bees and we found that the health of the hive was just not that great when we were feeding them sugar syrups. They had um, diarrhea issues, so the hive was not clean. There was um, bee excrement all over the front of the hive and on the door, and it just seemed to, to us to lead to bigger problems than if we just left enough honey in them in there for them to survive on. Um, so we tried to just go all natural with our bees. We don't feed them sugar syrups. We let them draw their own combs on these foundationless frames so that they have that smaller cell size and they're more resistant to the diseases and the mites that can sometimes take over a hive. Um, another thing is, is we don't treat our bees. We don't treat them for mites or any other illnesses that they can get and this is to help build up a resistance in our in our bee yard and a, a colony that can keep going year after year with no treatment is gonna be survivor bees. They're gonna last longer and um, learn to deal with the mites and the things that can happen to them uh, rather than treat. And we've kind of learned this through experience and through reading um, a about these beekeepings from the two people I mentioned, Dee Lesbie and Michael Bush. Um, a lot of it came from reading Michael Bush's book, The Practical Beekeeper, Beekeeping Naturally. This has a lot of great information in there about how to kind of just let bees do their own thing and be themselves. And um, that's just kind of how we do it. It's kind of like a, our tactics and then also not tactics. We don't really have to do anything. Uh, we don't have to store combs. We don't have to buy and treat our hives and um, constantly be in them and opening them and putting treatments in and taking treatments out. Um, we don't have to feed our bees. Uh, we don't have to make our own foundation. We don't have to store it. And it's uh, kind of a cost thing too. We don't have to pay for the treatments and the foundation and all of these things that if you were to treat and feed and use foundation, it makes the cost of keeping bees a little higher. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys why we use the foundationless frames and why we don't treat our bees and use the sugar syrups. It seems like we'll have stronger bees in the end if we just kind of let them do their own thing and just keep an eye on them um, and so that's why we we do that is to naturally grow them to control their own problems and it seems to be working for us we've had hives that have overwintered and we've had them for five and six years at a time uh, and they seem to be dealing with the mites and the foul brood and and all these different things that can affect the bees um, so that's just what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is just kind of how we keep our bees and why we do it. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.